Hey everyone, it's YouTube Media. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Site Builder in cPanel for HostGator hosting. So the first thing you do is just log into your cPanel. I'm in it right now. And you're going to have to request a form to open Site Builder. You enter your email and then do Site Studio or Site Builder. You can send this twice if you want both. And then they'll send you an email right here. It says Site Builder is now set up. They give you a username and password. So you then copy that, paste it in to uh, sign it. So then we go back to the control panel and we open Site Builder. Just click on it. And then you're going to sign in. I already have my password saved. Okay, then it just takes you through this one, two, three, four, five step process. Just create your site, click next. And then you're going to choose a template and say, I want this one. You can change the banner, the buttons, the site title. We'll do, we'll just make it a uh, snap, whatever, snap. Okay, and then you just click next. Do, 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 do. Okay, then you can choose what you want in your site structure, like the menu. Say you only want, you don't want these three things, you select them, press this arrow button, it sends them over. Maybe you only want the home page, so you just leave it as the home page. And then you can choose this other stuff, and then just click next when you're done. Yes, save changes. Okay, then you can now edit it here, so you can like type in hello chow main, if I even spelled that right. And you can drag in this stuff, say you want X of this, say you want a site map, you just click it, and drag it right there, it pops up, you can do the properties, and two columns, whatever. You can just mess around with this stuff, change title, description, there's all this stuff to make it bold, change color, I want it, uh, say I want it blue, there you go, the background's blue, and then once you're done, just click next, yes. Okay, now for the publish settings, these are the publish settings to publish your site. So what you're going to do is you're going to leave this alone and leave this on the default port. Now the host IP, you're going to go back to your control panel, scroll down where your server information is, so that would be right here, server IP address, copy that, and you're going to paste that in right here for the host slot. For the login, it's going to be your login and password for the cPanel. So whatever you use to log in for the cPanel, you're going to enter that right here. So mine is PC or cool. Oops. And then type in your password, whatever it is. Working directory. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to first need to set up a subdomain that you want to publish it on. Or you can do your main domain. Mine is youtubemedia.com, but I don't want to use my main one. So I'm just going to do a subdomain. So for example, so I want to name it uh, rice or let's do D capitalized. It's case sensitive. Then youtubemedia.com. And then you just click create go back okay and then we go down here here it is rice this right here this right here public HTML slash rice that is what you're gonna enter for the working directory that is the directory of the subdomain that I want to publish it on so my site builder is going to be published on rice dot YouTube media dot com and this is going to be the directory okay now if you just want it on YouTube media dot com or your domain without a you know, example dot YouTube without a subdomain. If you just want it on your main domain without a subdomain, you would just leave it as this right here, public HTML with no slash. Otherwise, if you want a subdomain, you have to enter it as I just did. So it's going to uh, correspond to this thing that I just set up. And then website URL. So I'm just going to name it rice. You're going to enter whatever it's going to be, YouTube media uh, dot com rice.youtubemedia.com looks good okay then just click publish and there you go site has been successfully published so you have to make sure you have all this right the right working directory along to the subdomain that I made and again if you don't want a word right here in in front of your sub in front of your domain so say my domain is youtubemedia.com if you don't want a word in front of it then you're just gonna leave it has public HTML and remove this rice part. Oops. So you're just going to leave it like that. And then there you go. So that's how you do this. And then you can go click visit site, rice.youtubemedia.com. And there you go. That's what it looks like. And then you can edit it whenever you want. Uh, so it has all these tabs here. If you want to edit it, just click go to admin panel button at the top here. 
and then it gives you a preview of the current sites that I have. Right now I only have one, which is this one, the green play button, arrow button looking thing right here. That it means that the site is active and it's published and working. If it's a red button with an X through it, that means it's not working. So then you can add a new site, uh, you can go to your profile, log out, and then to edit it, you're just going to go over here and click on the pencil button, and it's going to take you to the edit page of the 12345 process. And here's the edit page where you can edit it again and add more stuff or delete it, whatever you want to do. So that's how you set up Site Builder, make a site, publish it. It's pretty simple to do once you get it down. All the links will be in the video description. And at the end of this video, there will be links to watch other videos that will help you with other HostGator features. I'd recommend checking them out. Thanks for watching.